Greenway, who is a serial female entrepreneur and has an amazing story to share. Hermione, thank you so much for joining us. I'm it's great to be here. <laughs> so we've been having a chat before the filming and you have done so much incredible stuff. So tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're doing right now and your journey. Well, I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years now. I started off in 2005 and I was at journalism school in London and they were teaching me newspaper journalism. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. When I graduate, I'm likely to go into digital, not print. Mm. And so I looked for an online school where I could get training in digital and nothing existed. So I set up newspaper.com. And ever since then, I've set up a number of companies. I've moved to San Francisco, I was a journalist in Silicon Valley. I've done a $25 million TV show. I've hot tub with Richard Branson. I've had an, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I've had an incredible, incredible life and it's all because I decided to become an entrepreneur. So tell us more about the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the trendy thing to do now if you're an entrepreneur in Silicon Valley is kiteboard. It's what all the entrepreneurs oh, okay. do. Well, go to Burning Man and kiteboard. Um, and I was invited to a special trip on Necker Island uh, with Harry Styles. And uh, we were hot tubbing, and then there is a picture of us that ended up on the front cover of the Sun newspaper. But um, <laughs> if this is ever some inspiration to become a female entrepreneur, that is it right there. You get to go in the hot tub. There was a moment when I was in the Caribbean Ocean on my kite, and I was crossing Richard Branson's path. And we high fived on our kite boards in this warm, lush environment in the Caribbean. I was like, how did I get here? Like, is this my life? How did this happen? And it's all because of entrepreneurship. And you had an idea and you followed it through. I did. So yeah. what would you say, out of all the things that you've kind of done, has there been one kind of standout thing that's really happened or one standout business that you've run and founded that you enjoyed the most? My last company was called Vibees and it was the world's first smart vibrator. So it's a Bluetooth clitoral stimulator that you can control with your iPhone. So, for example, if your husband was traveling for work, he could still control your vibrator from abroad. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and I really enjoyed building that company because it was a real challenge, you know, building a sex toy and helping the brand grow in a way that was empowering to females mm. uh, and positioning it in the market, market as a brand that was empowering females um, and it was just a really fun company to grow we shipped 20,000 devices we grew to 1.5 million dollars in sales um, my co-founders in Singapore and we traveled all over the world speaking at conferences for that and it was just a really fun time amazing and how do you because you run a lot of different businesses and um, how have they come about has it been something that you just thought I've got an idea I'm gonna go with it what's been your thought processes behind them yeah I'm one of these people that once I have an idea I have to just get it out there yeah. and um, I mean people could criticize me and say oh you haven't really had a, su a whole success at one thing I've just had a lots of mini successes at a lot of different things yeah. um, but I prefer that way because I get to work on lots of different projects and life never gets boring Brilliant. And what's the kind of main project that you're working on at the moment? At the moment, I'm working with a company called Sextoy.com. So I'm, I'm seeing a theme here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to my sexy roots, and they are the world's first mobile optimized shopping app for sex toys so they enable you know how you used to go into Ann Summers and it was a really yeah. awkward experience yeah. and you'd be like oh gosh I've got to choose a sex toy and it's really seedy well this app enables you to shop for sex toys with a swipe of a finger and you can buy it right there in your mobile app and it's all how millennials are shopping these days uh, ASOS say that 70% of their sales now come through their mobile app I mean, you know kids yeah. don't want to go to the high street kids don't want to go to stores yeah. so I think uh, it's going to grow really big. Amazing. And have you got kind of any tips for women out there who are maybe just really at the start of their journey, they're thinking, I want to launch a business, they're maybe a bit nervous, excited, apprehensive, any words of wisdom? There has never been an easier or cheaper time to start a business mm -hmm. in the history of mankind. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, wherever the internet is, you have the possibility to build mm -hmm. a million or billion dollar company. There are no limits. Um, you know, we live in a connected world, there are so many free tools that you can use for PR, marketing, branding, um, so you can really get a company off the ground for zero dollars, yeah. uh, which is a, you know, a new phenomenon. Mm, amazing. And what's next for you? Well, I'm working with a bunch of companies at the moment um, and I'm looking to get into the e-learning space. I just bought the domain, the British School of Entrepreneurship. And um, so that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Exciting. And where can people follow you if they want to find out more about you? 
My biggest channel is Facebook. I love Facebook. I've been on it for 10 years. Um, you can't actually follow me, uh, friend me because they got a limit, but you can follow me and it's uh, Facebook forward slash Hermione Way. Amazing. Thank you so much, Hermione. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>